Porky the Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My Porky Loon. <laughs> I don't mean the, that rude. The loon. The loon. Who might be a tad bit porky. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Just in a lovable, lovable yes, fabulous I kind know, of I know, I know. So today, folks, we are, guess what? We're excited. Are we ever not excited? No, guess what? We're talking about pork. We are talking pork, and we are talking the best pork there ever, ever was in the world. Ever, so let's ever. let's tell them, before we go any further, what we're making. Yes. We're doing our Delmonico Del Pork Steak. Thanks. I mean, really. I know. Pick your jaws up off the ground. So, I mean, we're doing... So, have, have you ever heard of a Delmonico steak? So, a Delmonico steak is typically beef. Yeah. And um, it came... It, it originated at the Delmonico Steakhouse in New York City. Del, Delmonico many, restaurant, restaurant, yeah. Many, many years ago. And uh, they actually kind of just came up with the steak. It was a... They, Anyway, it, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a primo <laughs> cut, and um, it's very similar to like a ribeye. It's but marbled. It can, yeah, it could be a ribeye, and it could be in uh, like a New York, New York strip. strip. Yeah, so it's basically a Delmonico is a thick steak, thick. a thick, delicious steak. It's just really good. So yes. we have to tell you, so we have a good friend that we had the honor and pleasure of meeting um, a few years ago at a James Beard ooh, Foundation ooh la la. Um, <laughs> uh, that we had, the, again, the pleasure of being able to attend. Yes. And um, his name is Steve Kearns, and uh, he is the owner and incredible right. man behind um, Mangalitza, Mangalitza Estates. Estates, which is a pork... Um, it's a pork farmer. It's, it's a, pork a pork farm. farm. He's yeah. a pork farmer out of Ohio, but he is so much more than just that. He is a... I mean, he is a force. He's in a the, geneticist. He's basically. a geneticist and a force in the culinary world. He, yeah. he literally, I mean, he he produces such incredibly flavorful, delicious yes. pork that and the, it's Magalitza pork, which is uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's a pork uh, originated in Hungary. Uh, it's basically like the Kobe beef of pork. It is. And he has mastered the geneticists of it. And it's wonderfully pink and marbly and just delicious. Why don't we just show them? Well, I would, I would, okay. if I can finish the start, what <laughs> well, I started let, saying at least before, you, talking before you started your lecture. Um, but anyway, <laughs> and it was very informative. Thank but you. What, he, he is so good and his his pork is so great, great that the top chefs, I mean, we're talking yes. the top chefs across the, the country, the country uh, get their pork yes. from him. They're that good. And, and so... So we're very lucky to know him. We are, but you are too because he's, they are now, the estate is now allowing um, consumers yeah, you like can order us online. to exactly. order online. So that's why we're showing yeah. you this because we, we did such a big lead up to this, but because it's that spectacular. <laughs> it's it's mangalitzaestates.com. Yeah, we've got yes. all of the, the links and everything you need to know in the um, in the the description of our video as well as in the blog post. Okay. So, all right, let's get to let's those things. Show them that. So, well, let's tell them first before I show them. <laughs> let me tell. Well, all right, let's do it. Gosh. <laughs> well, you think one? Maybe we should start scripting ourselves. Right? <laughs> look at that. Wow, those are nice and thick. Those and look, look at like the pinkness of them. Yeah. Oh wow, really, and the marbling through there. Yeah. Oh, that looks amazing. It's so true. So I mean, just another little bit of history on this. So I mean, Steve has really led the the way on. B b sort of revolutionizing um, the, the pork, pork industry. Yeah. And, and so, you know, there was a push for many, many years in a, for good reasons to make pork very lean. And, right. Um, what was it called? The other white the meat? The other white meat, which is mm -hmm. all a good thing. But, but in that process, it started to lose flavor. flavor. Yeah. And so Steve said, we, we can maintain that, um, you know, that sort of that, what we were doing before, and really get some, some flavor. And so Amazing. that's where the mangalista comes in. Yes. And, um, and then these Delmonico steaks. Ah. They have all kind. They have other really interesting yeah. steaks that, like a brisket. We're we're gonna do some more later, but yes. a brisket and just petite fillets. Pretty amazing. Not just your average day pork chop. Yeah. I'm telling you. If that you want to eat like you're in a fancy restaurant, go to MangalistaEstates.com and order some of this delicious pork. So this is so good by itself. It really requires very very little preparation or additional things to it. It's yeah. just like the steak is so good. So all we did, what we did, we just got our two steaks and um, I hit them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we like to just do a little bit of a marinade of Worcestershire sauce. It's mm. not necessary, but it adds just a little depth of yeah. flavor. And um, and then we flipped it over and then we added a little more salt and pepper and a little more uh, Worcestershire sauce and then covered it in foil and then put it in the fridge for like an hour. Okay? <laughs> and that's all there I is love, to it. I love Worcestershire. 
Sorry, I always say it wrong. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Me too. I, so anyway, <laughs> okay. So now we're, we, what we're going to do is we're going to grill these babies up. Yeah. Like it is the great steak. So we've got our grill um, cranked up uh, nice and high, and I'm going to put these over direct heat. And then, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's eating time yeah. like we've never had before. I love it. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean to tell you. Those look amazing. Beautiful. And again, if you could just smell what we're smelling right now, it's incredible. My it's mouth just is watering. I know, I'm, it literally is. Oh. So, so let's just say what we did. We took, them, we took them out of the grill. These are these are pretty good size. These are about 10 ounces each. So um, they got some thickness to them. So um, you want to make sure that it's pork. So you want to make sure that it gets to 135 degrees. Well, actually, 145. 145 yeah. yeah, I mean, they're they're the bacteria issue is no longer really an issue um, like it was before. So pink is okay, but a lot of people are still like, no, no more pink. So <laughs> just to be safe, 145 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, we, what we did is we just put them on the grill and let them go about four minutes, and then we flipped them over, let them go about another four minutes. I used my little instrument. Yes, there, that, that instant read thermometer is like your best friend. It is. It really <laughs> is. We, we go way back. Okay, so now... <laughs> Let's serve them up. Let's do this. So we've also used... This is wonderful served with our balsamic herb potatoes. Oh, those, those are so delicious They're and crunchy they and just so go perfectly good. with this. And then you want to let this sit for, you know, for a yeah. few minutes because it's going to continue to cook a little bit um, as it uh. as it cooked, <laughs> I mean, as it rests, and those meat juices just sort of uh, come back together. Mm. Oh, my gosh. I'm... My... Uh, I okay. Can't oh, even. and let's tell them about our. Um, <laughs> I can't I mean, even. Because we can't ever just leave a well enough alone. alone. Right. So you, this steak sauce is homemade steak sauce, and it is the bomb. It's good. I you, said the bomb. Seen, I never say the bomb. The bomb. I know. Well, you know, we're we're doing Delmonico pork steaks. Yes. It's not an average day at the old Loon Well House. No, no it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a little on because I. And again, this these steaks are so primo by themselves. I, you know. I'm. I just. I love a really delicious steak sauce. Um, and that, a, the and one that enhances your steak. Right. Just to so, which is why right. we why we make them homemade. But, um, <laughs> exactly. Okay. And also, do you like a really good steak? I said that, didn't you I? You said steak sauce. Oh well, I like a good steak. Even, okay, just no, eat the steak. <laughs> Gosh, confusing me. Well, I haven't eaten in week. <laughs> you look. <laughs> okay. Wow. wow. Oh my. Beautifully pink. That. <gasps> I just like. Mm -hmm. okay. um. A hush <laughs> takes over the room. All we can hear is the loon eating. <laughs> Suddenly the crowd leans in for the verdict. He's getting worked up. It is so... <sighs> It is. It is. Um, it's uh, euphoria. It is. so... Uh, Y'all. Everybody needs to go to MangalitzaEstates.com. Even order if you this. can't say it right. <laughs> yes, you need to order this steak because it is tender, it's, it, it crazy. juicy. Oh, amazing! And your steak sauce. I do like your steak sauce. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That's a thousand percent Luna approved. Wow! Yes. I'm we sorry. Have, I it know. Is. I, I had to. I, okay. I've oh. I've tried these before, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get ready to have a moment oh. myself. But I was a when I first tried this. Well, let me shut up and just eat this. Yes. But when I first tried this, I thought, oh, a pork steak. Sure, yeah. that's gonna be yeah. good. I mean, I love pork. I love steak. Let's see. And it really is like nothing you've ever. It had is before. amazing. It is amazing. Melt in your mouth. It's amazing. I so, mean, <laughs> I get it. Why? <laughs> I get it. Why all of the 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 chefs, the top chefs across, across the, country the country, and, and love you know, this meat, this this pork. I, y'all, it's a family-owned business, family-run business in Ohio. You support them. Everybody needs support right now. That's right. Now you can get this. You can. You will have links online. You'll get the recipe for the steak sauce. Also, the potatoes are online too. They are on howtofeedaloon.com. I don't know if he has links. Oh, you meant the. <laughs> 
Anyway, wow. so go to our social media, like us, share us, do all of that. <laughs> yes. And um, you guys visit uh, this because it is yeah, it's this truly is wonderful. It is just wonderful. It is spectacular, I think is a word I would use yes. to describe it. Yes. I mean, and my hey, potatoes are not so bad No, either. they're not. <laughs> mm. Bye, everybody. Stay safe. We love we you. We love you. Hug your neighbor virtually and eat pork. <laughs> Porky. Rude. <laughs> Bye. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right. And to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe. <laughs> click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>